we, uh, we do, we, every time we're in the car, we're preaching to each other and critiquing each other and things. And uh, one bit of advice for dad, though, uh, you were saying, uh, <laughs> you were saying it was a trumped up situation. Uh, I'd refrain from saying that. It sounds like you're using a president's name as a curse word or something. <laughs> it's pretty trumped up. Uh, you know, uh, God had, you know, these, these prophecies that they were talking about, it was, it really has been a thing for, you know, since I was young, but God is, the way, the way that he's worked so far is that, is that these little, these tidbits that were so, you know, they're impactful words. They, they came into my life and they, and they sat there. They never left. I remember every single word that any of you guys have given to me. Wow. Uh, and but whenever the whenever it, it, it happened, it was like God, you know, God was fashioning the, these things to be happening in my life, but it never made sense to me. And the ones my parents were telling the the ones my parents would tell me too, they never made sense. Like uh, you're going to be a help in our old age. <laughs> I thought to myself, uh, <laughs> really not much of a help now, so I doubt you know I'll be any help in the future. <laughs> but you know. Uh, as time went on and then and then the you know the holy spirit came in yeah. and then all of these little bitty things along the timeline of my salvation i guess you could say just all made sense all at once just Ooh. boom yeah. and i'm like Amen. oh okay yeah. you know uh <laughs> that eureka you know, uh, this is yeah. why this is yeah. why and uh you know just <laughs> It's amazing how you really don't have to do anything but be yourself. Yeah. So I love how you guys are like, just be that's yourself. Right. Yeah. That's the best advice I've ever gotten. Because <laughs> <laughs> it works. And I just do. I just be me. And, and I be me, but I see me through his eyes, finally. Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. myself now. Yeah. So when this started tonight, everything that's been said every single syllable that's been said has been fashioned for tonight for everyone that's in here yeah. including me my dad everybody who's in here has been fashioned that the night has been fashioned to fit your heart and I, I, I started noticing that from everything uh, Dave when you said uh, you've been saved for years but when you knew yourself when you got to know yourself now God's seen you. That's when you, yeah. the light came on. Yeah. You know, you, right. you became right. a brighter person. You could shine forth that way. That's yeah. how I yeah. felt as well. You know, uh, when I got to know who I am in Christ Jesus, everything started to fit. Yeah. So the things that I've been doing recently is, uh, I'm I'm more of a, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm on Facebook constantly. Now, I'm on there. Just being me, and I'm, I'm noticing I'm ministering to people in that way. Like I said, the the poems and things and, and whatnot, and just being myself. And but then the uh, the inboxes start coming, and and uh, the phone calls start coming in, and it's just an on and on. It is overwhelming, but you guys said don't let it don't let the pressure crack me, yes, yeah. and I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna let it crack me. Um, but sometimes, let me give you an example of something that might hurt hurt someone's feelings or something. There's this guy, uh, I mean, I got a life too, you know, and everything. And he was like, hey, can you call me, please? I need to talk to you and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I will, I will. And then, like, my inbox and my everything else is just, it's too big to... Sometimes I'll forget to call someone when I tell them I will, and it's not that. But then he blocked me, and then but whenever I did go to call him, you cannot respond to this message and stuff. I'm like, well, that dude just he blocked me. That hurt my feelings for real because it was on my heart to call him. It really was. And then I'm thinking, oh God, he's he's hung himself or something. He, he blocked me, and now I, now he's going to commit suicide. Oh yeah, Mr. Suicide from Prevention, you ain't going to call me. Well, guess what? You know. And it had me scared, you know? I was freaking out. 
So I prayed about it and stuff. He unblocked me. He did. He finally did after a few days, which is cool. But uh, I'm glad. And I need to talk to him because he was, he was actually wanting to go to Andrew's uh, Bible college and stuff. Um, I've got his information and everything. I'm going to get to him and everything. But uh, I love everyone. And, uh, so it's always been on my heart to start these meetings over here in, uh, that I've started. We've only had two. The first week, we had uh, all the people were new people. So that's a good thing. Uh, the second week, there's a few new people. And, uh, and the rest of them were uh, return visitors. So it's pretty good, uh, pretty good numbers there. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so uh, the thing that he's put on my heart since for a long time, it's been the love movement. I'm, and it's been vibrating through my spirit. The love movement, the love movement. Well, what is that? Well, I know, A, number one, God is love. So, okay. Movement. What's movement? Movement is life. You know, you get a fish tank and you fill it up with water and you put your fish in there. If that water is just stagnant, those fish are going to die. That's right. There's no movement in it. You know, movement is life. So love, life, and God. So let's talk about a grander scale here. The body, the human body needs movement to survive, right? Blood pumps through the veins, which beats the heart, which keeps the organs alive. You know, runs all the good stuff through your body, oxygen and, and everything else. If we're the body of Christ, you know, we're to be always, always moving. I like that you bless the feet. Well, now I know I'll always be moving. Moving. Yeah. Moving. Yeah. Glenda. You said something to me that impacted my life forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And it saved me because I'm not going to crack now under, under, under certain pressures because of something that you told me uh, a long time ago, actually, well, years ago. You said, because I, whenever I was on fire last time, and I lost it. When I was on fire last time, I was beating dead horses. Ouch. Come on. You know? Come on, come on, believe this. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, no, I didn't kick babies, but <laughs> some of them I should have. Anyway, got blocked on Facebook millions of times because I was pressuring people and pushing it on them and yelling at them, you're wrong. I know I'm right because I know it's in my spirit. You're wrong type of thing. Wrong. I was, I was, that was wrong with me because I was sitting there. <laughs> sitting there watering this plant I'm standing in a big big garden there's all these plants and stuff the sun's shining and, and there's all these seeds that are in the ground and even little sprouts and stuff you know what I mean I'm sitting here watering this one drowning it and then the sun burns out the rest of it I'm like wow. oh whoops well I screwed the whole harvest up because I sat there and watered one plant for years and killed it then the rest I neglected. So Glenda said, you need to plant and move. That was her That was her vision that she got for me. Oh, one of the prophecies, plant and move. Because I could give this one a little water, and now I walked away, and it's getting sunshine from other places. You know what I mean? And and I come back around, and I'll have that water. That's the one thing I got. I got a little bit of water for you. You'll get water from me, sun from this, sun from you, and and nutrition from you and you and you we're a body we're all in this together we're all qualified you know yes. what i mean mm -hmm. and that, that's what's really awesome so anyway back on track with these people i have them come in and and i i envision it as as you know you're teaching your old you like how i came to christ how i came to god i gotta i gotta look at these people because i mean that's who i'm reaching is it not is my uh basically myself i'm reaching the old me so I see the old me and all these people. Wow. Super potential in these people. Yeah. But they're the old me. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I remember what the old me used to think. Yeah. I used to think, you know, oh, well, I don't know if I believe in God or not. I know there's something, but I believe in science. You know, that was one of, that was one of my things that I thought about, okay? Right. Now, check this out. I can use that. I can actually use that. All right. We'll take a little bit of science. We'll take a little bit of science. 
and we'll, but we're going to apply it. You know what I mean? So what I'm doing right now is, and there's a million ways to apply science to the creator, obviously. But, I mean, he created science. So anyway, well, right now I'm doing this project with water. And it's, it's amazing. So we got, I got a little t projector and stuff. I'm not going to show you guys the videos, but you can look them up if you want. Um, there's, they took a, this scientist took some water and uh, treated the water. Took water, put it in a vial, put an, uh, water in another vial, put a label on it. Who knows that labels matter, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you label someone something, they're gonna start believing it themselves that they're that, yeah. you know what I mean? So you put love on one label, hate on the other label. Flash froze it. Looked in, under a microscope, the molecules in that water they, he named love. Who knows about the power of words? Yeah. Yeah. Named it love. It froze in these beautiful crystals, like these amazing yeah. uh, patterns, it's like snowflakes. They called this one hate. It didn't have any kind of structure, any kind of pattern. It just froze, actually, kind of an ugly way. It was kind of a, uh, not very, didn't feel very good about itself, you know what I mean? So, so, doesn't it talk about in the Bible how, you know, you speak it to existence and you, you know, the words have power, you know what I mean? Yes. And the name of Jesus is the name above all names. So check this out. So I looked a little bit further into these projects, and, and they have uh, they had the same kind of project going. It's a little bit longer time, but they put rice. You cook some rice, and you put it in these jars and put a lid on real tight, put a label on it, love, hate, right? Separate them. Be kind to this one. Be mean to this one. I got a jar in my house right now. I go in the other room. I yell at it every day. My parents are like, what the? What's going on here? And the one I love, I, I sit there and I play music and I, and I hang out with it. I beat myself around it, but I really care about it. I'm starting to get feelings for it, actually. But, listen. If I can attach this science that people believe so much in, and they see that this rice is rotting, and it says hate on it, and they say that this, this rice is living and thriving, that's, it's called love, I want to do the experiment again. Now, all these science people are at my at my meetings and stuff. I want to do this experiment again, but guess what I'm going to do? Jesus. I'm going to put Jesus on one label. I'm not going to use Spanish rice because they'll think it's named Jesus. And I'm going to get another jar, and I'm going to name it the devil or Satan. Okay, that's just science, man. I mean, if the words are what does it, man, that's just... Okay. Well, let's, <laughs> let's add Jesus to it and see if it works still. Yeah. It's yeah. going to. Because yeah. that's what it is anyway. Yes. Yes. God and Jesus, that, that is the good energy of the world. You know, Satan and the devil, that is the bad energy of the world. All right. yeah. So if you believe in science, you have to believe in God. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. So it is sort of this, I mean, it's what God has placed in me and how to, how to treat people and how to act is just be myself and let them be them. Yes. But one day they're going to slip up and believe. <laughs> yeah. I promise you, they will. They'll accidentally, yeah. oh, whoops. <laughs> I believe now. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> but what, what is our bodies made of? That's the weird, that's the question here. It's like, what, like 60% water, close to 75% yeah. water? Yeah. Speak the name. Speak, speak healing. See, that also, that's the coolest thing too, is it, it proves healing. Yeah. It proves that healing is Amen. real. Yes. Because, I mean, the rice is rotting. This rice is surviving on love, on Jesus. Yes. So we can survive Amen. on not bread alone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's really cool. And we start to, the people that knew me before, don't I look better? Don't I look better? Oh, you look so huh? good. <laughs> so weird, right? <laughs> Come on. It's crazy. I recognize, well, uh, if you come to this church, I recognize most of you. Some of you 